Stratus has been the best-selling ADS-B receiver in aviation for the last six years. It's got a great mix of features like subscription-free weather, dual-band ADS-B traffic, GPS, and backup attitude. It's also been really rock solid. Here at Sporties, we've put over 2,000 hours on Stratus over the last few years, and it's been just perfect for us. But now there's a new model out, Stratus 3, and it's got some new features, more app flexibility, and a lower price. Let's go flying with it. Stratus 3 has everything that the Stratus 2S has to offer, plus more, and for $200 less. So it still has the 8-hour battery, the AHARs, the dual-band ADS-B traffic, flight data recording, outstanding ADS-B reception, and great support. And the price cut did come at the expense of these features or performance, which is really important. Beyond the low price, there's some smart new features that pilots will really appreciate. First is an auto shutoff. In this setting, you can uh, turn it on in four flight, and Stratus will automatically turn off when it senses the flight is over. This is really good for uh, saving the battery life if you forget to turn off Stratus at the end of a flight. It's per surprisingly easy to do, and don't ask us how we know. The second thing it has is what uh, Pario calls smart Wi-Fi. This allows you to connect your iPad to Stratus using the Wi-Fi connection, but still use the LTE cellular connection on your iPad if you have it. That's nice because most of the time when you connect to Wi-Fi, an LTE device will think it already has an internet connection and it'll turn off that cellular connection. Well, now you can have the best of both worlds. You can connect to Wi-Fi and start getting some of that Stratus information, start flight data recording if you want to. But if you're on the ground and you need to make a last minute flight plan change, you can still use LTE on your iPad to maybe send through a new flight plan through ForeFlight. Last of all, it has Wi-Fi security enhancements. You can set a password on the Wi-Fi network for Stratus, and you can hide the Wi-Fi network name. These are really important features for military and airline pilots where security really matters. It may not be as important for flying a Cessna 172, but it's still nice flexibility to have. So Stratus 3 is also designed to take advantage of some new features, both for flight and the FAA. When it comes to ADS-B weather, the available products have been the same for years, but that's about to change, and Stratus 3 is out just in time to take advantage of these new products. Later this year, the FAA will start broadcasting new products, including lightning, echo tops, and icing forecasts, and all of these will be available on Stratus 3 with a simple for flight update. Another new feature is that ForeFlight also has new traffic display and synthetic vision. Available starting with version 10.2, which is out now, this shows a 3D picture of nearby targets, and this works great with Stratus 3. The combination of backup attitude and traffic on the left side of the screen, plus moving map and weather on the right side of the screen makes for an amazing in-flight tool. Another major change with Stratus 3 is app compatibility. It still works seamlessly with ForeFlight, so take it out of the box, turn it on, and open up ForeFlight, and you've got all the features, including some really high-end features like flight data recording and a lot of great remote settings tools. But now with Stratus 3, there are more options. It works with the industry standard protocol GDL90, and this allows it to work with uh, a number of different apps, including Flight Plan Go and even some Android apps. What you can do there is go into a free app from Apario called Stratus Horizon Pro, and you can set the Stratus 3 into GDL90 mode, and then you can connect with one of these other apps and get weather, traffic, GPS, and attitude. So it's a really great way if you maybe have to use a different app, uh, if you're a professional pilot or if you're switched back and forth, you can do that now. A couple of important notes, there are some features that only work with ForeFlight, like that flight data recording, weather replay, and some of those settings features. So it's a little more limited with GDL90, but you still have all the important things you need, like weather, and traffic, and GPS.